All right, welcome, InfoTech. We are going to finish off our typography lesson. Uh, we were learning all about how to lay out text on the page to make it more readable. We learned a whole bunch of useful CSS to make that happen, either to make your paragraphs more readable or your titles more interesting. One of the best things to do, though, is adding in cool fonts, but cool fonts um, don't Aren't, you can't guarantee that they're necessarily installed on the people's computers that are viewing your website. So we're going to see how to do that. Uh, to do this, we're going to be looking at our uh, CSS slash HTML file from last time when we did the typography. So you'll want to have that open up. We're going to be adding some new CSS to that. And we're also going to be downloading a font file, which downloading files, it can be some people's most challenging part of this. So. Um, you know, take a look and see if you can make this happen. So first off, uh, let's go download a font. Uh, I recommend going to the website dafont.com. They have a bunch of free fonts and you can check out whichever ones you want. Uh, here you can search in all sorts of different categories. They always have a random, uh, I guess it's not random, it's like a recent font. So you can just pick whatever you think looks cool. And I can't guarantee they will all work. So you know, if it doesn't work, try again. Um, but there are some specific steps which you're going to learn right now. So I'm going to download, I, I like Rodamus, Rodamus. I don't know what that, how do you pronounce that, but uh, I'm going to choose this font. So I'm going to download it to the same folder where my HTML file is. And it's going to be a zip file, which is a compressed file, which won't work as is. We will have to unzip it. So watch as I do that. I'm going to download Rodamus. So I just click download and here it comes. I have to put it into, make sure you put it into your folder. So my, I go to my web design folder and I find uh, the typography folder and there is my HTML file. As long as this is beside the HTML file, not in any other folders, you're doing it right. But you're not done, but you're doing it right. Okay, so I click save and then I just want to verify. Uh, oh, so it's downloading, downloading. Downloaded. So now in my typography folder, I have the typography.html file and right beside it, rodamas.zip. So that is step one done, but it is only step one. We now have to unzip this file. We can't read those fonts. They're zipped. They are compressed. They make no sense to your web browser. So on a Mac, you just double click on it and it unzips. Um, in a PC, you double click on it and it opens a folder and inside there you need to drag them out of that folder. So however you do it, you gotta get those font files to be in this level of the folder right here, right beside your typography.html. So I'm gonna double click on it, and in a Mac it makes a separate folder. So then I'm going to open that folder and copy and paste the fonts. And there they are, the font files. I have an OTF and an, a TTF file. If you have trouble seeing these on your setup, because the extensions are hidden, if it just says Rodamas, Rodamas, then um, just be aware that OTF and TTF are the extensions. You could use either one, doesn't matter. And as far as like the zip file and this extra folder are concerned, I don't need that junk. I'm tossing it. Goodbye. See you later. I got the font files right here. These are the ones I need. The OTF, or I don't really need both, honestly, or the TTF file. We're good to go. Done. That is the steps to downloading a font. If you're having trouble with this, you know, take a look at somebody else uh, who got it working. This might be the hardest step for some of you. All right, now the CSS. We are doing it. We are going to embed that Rodamus font into our uh, into our website, so that anybody, regardless of whether they have Rodamus the font, can you see that font. Uh, it'll make the page load a little bit slower. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that because internet speeds these days are, you know, mostly just fine for <laughs> downloading fonts. So here we go. I'm going to add in a new uh, CSS selector. It's got an ampersand in front of it. No, no, sorry, it's not ampersand. I don't know what the name of that thing is. The at symbol, you know, when you're Twittering and you're like at so-and-so or, you know, in, in your email where it says so-and-so at gmail.com. It's that one. Shift two. And then it's font dash face, and then the braces. So this is going to allow you to embed a font. And what you do first of all is you do font family, 
and font family, this is essentially going to be um, the name you're going to give this font. You could call it anything you want. It doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't have to be Rodamus. I can call it Font Boy or something like that. Like you can call it anything, honestly. Then you have to give the source, which is the location of the file. So I'm going to put in font, um, the font's file's name. So you say a URL. Oh, look, it even predicts it for me. And then it is for me, Rodamus. And because it's in capitals, I got to capitalize it too. Dot TTF. So that is the CSS to embed it. There's a lot of ways this can go wrong. It's very peculiar. For example, if there's any spaces in your font file name, you're going to want to put single quotes around it. I don't think that's necessary without it. Um, I'm going to put in the single quotes anyways, just to make sure. But if there's a space, it won't work unless you put the single quotes. Man, CSS, why are you so hard? But it's all good. So there's our at font face. We're not done because now we have to like use it. Like right now we're using Verdana and Georgia. So Rodamas, get out of here. So we got to include it. So what we're going to do is we can, for example, make H1. We can replace it with the name of the font, not Rodamas.ttf, but the name of the font family you gave it. So honestly, it's probably good to synchronize these two things because otherwise you're going to get confused. But I don't know. I guess I decided to call it font boy. So it's font boy. And now the H1 will be, oh, I know what font boy is. It's rodamas.ttf, and we'll make it all work. I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to refresh it. Let's see what happens. Let's see, do I get the font boy? Hey, don't translate. There it is. Check it out. It is rodamas. Now, you might notice that the font is a lot smaller, and that's peculiar because I said 50 point. Uh, but you know what? Things are going to change when you use different fonts, and you just got to roll the punches. It's no big deal. Just change the numbers. Maybe I'm like, okay, well, 200. Spicy. Spicy. Let's, let's just see what 200 is. Whoa, that's a bit. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. Not really. Uh, I would suggest uh, a little bit less. Uh, but, you know, I might actually be like, I might be down with that. I might think that's, um, that's kind of cool. Uh, there's just so much space under here. My gosh. My gosh. But you know how to fix that. It's just the margins, right? Margin top, margin bottom. Hey, let's do it. Let's just let's just go and make that happen right now. Uh, let's do for the H1, let's do a margin top and margin bottom. That's the space outside of the element. Uh, margin top, zero picks. Margin bottom, zero picks. And semicolon. And refresh. And, well... Nah, I still don't love it, but you know what? Like you can, you can kind of make it work for yourself and play around with things. Probably the answer is just to make it a little less big. Unbigify it. Um, uh, yeah, okay, I can work with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. That's starting to look okay. So that's embedding a font. You're gonna want to do that with whatever font you want from dafont.com. Your choice. There's a lot of good ones, right? Uh, feel free to to go into these different. Areas, right? Man, fire. Whoa, so crazy. Um, eroded. Oh, man, look at those edgy fonts. Go to um, medieval. Get your uh, get your old school on. You know, like, have some fun. Have some fun with it. Download it. Remember to make sure your font files, the TTF, OTF, and, and possibly others, are in the folder, not just the zip file. And uh, check out that sweet, sweet CSS. That will make it all work. Thanks, everybody.